Yo, welcome to Mono Score Matchups YouTube. Today, we're going to play a couple of games with Torrid Reclive's Peoria winning Lost Box deck. It is the baby Lost Zone deck with four Path to the Peak. This was an amazing play into the Peoria regional meta. I will say, I think the meta is going to adapt quite a bit, and this exact 60 probably is going to be the best move. Uh, we're going to play a couple games on ladder with it, and you're going to see the ladder meta has certainly adapted for the Sableye Charizard deck it has struggles with healing things Tord said both of his losses were against arceus gudra which i think is a pretty good play you know struggles against a lot of just like rogue stuff that might start popping up here and there out of nowhere something like i put a vikavolt video out the other day i think vikavolt bodies this deck in fact we played against it on ladder with vikavolt it's just a really good one but the deck is not straightforward the deck is literally the opposite of straightforward the game plan is straightforward how to get there is very difficult so I'm going to show you how to play the deck a little bit. I feel uh, fairly confident in it. Not 100%. Obviously, this deck takes a lot of practice. Not even sure if Torrid would tell you he played it optimally in his regional winning run. Uh, speaking of which, maybe we'll hear from Torrid in the future on this YouTube channel. Who knows? If you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a video where we might talk to an expert about this deck. Hint, hint. Well, yeah, uh, let's go and check out a couple of games with this deck on the PTCGO ladder and see exactly how to play it. All right, so we are hoping to go first, but one of the best things about this deck is you can go second and be generally fine, and my opponent wins a coin flip, so, you know, that'll happen. Let's hope we can get a good game here. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, sure. Why not? We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how this one uh, goes. We hit, it looks like Blissey with Chorus. So this is a deck that's kind of been popping up in the meta. So it's interesting because this should be a bad matchup, but it's definitely not like unwinnable. That's good too. So we are going to absolutely pop off here. We're going to be able to get the cram down. We're going to be able to flower selecting uh, plenty of times. All right, looks like we're going to be able to get a smack on a Blissey as well, which is very nice. And there is a Greninja. Okay, so the Greninja is actually kind of annoying because that thing can take a cram hit. And without Zigzagoon, we have to finish it off with Sableyes. Uh, we're also going to have to be careful with our fire energies and our lost vacuums in this matchup because they probably play four paths at the very least. Yeah, that's fine, though. That that just means we can't play our own path. So we're going to drop a VIP pass. Grab. OK, one, two. Go boop, boop. Grab. The Oranguru. I think we're going to grab another comb fee as well. We are going to grab a psychic energy out of the deck. Ooh, we prize two psychics and one fire, which is potentially bad in this matchup just because uh, this is one where you kind of need. You kind of need uh, that early aggression because we're not going to get prizes very quickly. We can afford to ditch a Clara for sure. Go and drop a net. Flower selecting, okay. That's been decided for us. Getting this KO is cool, which we can technically do. I think we just might. We can go here, here. Selecting. We definitely do not need the path. Drop a switching cart. So that Comfy has been used. We don't need all the Sableyes. Tremendous. We get to keep digging. One, two, three. Unfortunately, we do lose the Cram, but we can't afford losing the Psychic. Um, playing around a Marnie seems nice, but I'm not sure how we can really do that from this hand. Like, I'm not sure what I would want to keep. I guess we want to keep a net. 
above anything else. Tremendous. There's a world where they Avery me. Let me go here, here. We're up to six in the law zone, so that's good. Unfortunately, we did lose the chorus. Let's make that a pivot. And spit on this. If they didn't have the ninja, we definitely would have gone for the rope smack blissy play. Ooh, what a good prize. We had a lot of good prizes, though. We have multiple energies prize that we need and the chorus. So, you know, not the worst odds in the world there. My opponent's actually going to whiff this knockout also, which is really funny. So we know we're top decking a scoop up net. Which is cool. We're going to get for sure the smack on this. We have another chorus as well. So since my opponent plays chorus, I'm not sure how many Marnies they play. Tremendous. Get rid of that. That's why we didn't bench the other Comfy. And let's see the energy coming down from my opponent. Prob. Oh my goodness. This can't be real. Chorus. We want this. We want this. Um, we don't really need the fog crystal right now. And we want to stack this on top of the deck. Tremendous. Spit on them. No reason to attach because we already have our pivot. No reason to bench something else in case of an Avery. That is five, six, seven, eight. Next turn, we top deck the chorus. We for sure are able to get down the uh, Sableye. We did get rid of the lost or the fog crystal there, but I think it's fine. They ditched a pat or a boss. It's a big deal. It's OK. They're burning their healing now. And the 40 smack. Top deck a chorus again. I think we're just going to chorus here. We want this, we want this. Um, the question here is, do we want the Fog Crystal or the Marnie? My opponent's hand is getting pretty big. They're gonna knock me out next turn. We're gonna get the smack for 110. I think because just we can dig so much next turn. What are they hitting for? One, two, three, four. Four is plenty. I think I'd rather have access to... We have the other Marnie in deck. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and crystal. Grab a Sableye out of the deck. We are afraid of an Avery, potentially if we do bench and attach now, but I think we're still gonna do it. And we'll just get rid of the Oranguru. There's no reason to wisdom. Smack. A wisdom probably just draws us cards we don't need. I'm really kind of second guessing that Marnie, but I don't know. Getting the Sableye down is so nice. But in Marnie, this turn would have also been super nice. Let's see if they can heal enough. That's OK. Let's see if they combo that with like a Hyper Potion. We have all of our Gust. We have our Escape Ropes. We have our Lost Vacuum. We need more healing. Okay, there's the healing. Okay, and they're going to go ahead and Marnie me. Sure. So now, okay, we don't want to use this Marnie. <laughs> Definitely not the Marnie to use. Interesting. Okay, they're getting thick. This is okay. We still have a Clara left. We still have another Sableye energies. We're in an okay spot.
flower selecting. Actually, we're probably going to use one flower selecting. So let's go ahead and put the path on top and we're going to loss zone the path. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, uh, sure. Why not? Okay. So that was a uh, that was something. That, that was something right there. Grab this. Lost mine, and we're gonna smack everything onto the active Blissey. Boop. So this next turn, we might end up having to drop the Marnie down. See the Hyper Potion? Okay, they're gonna Marnie me. That is fine. Those paths go to the bottom of the deck. I don't uh, particularly care about that. This is a super tough matchup. We should not win this matchup very often. Ooh, especially drawn like this. There's the Blissful Blast. We can not KO with the Charizard. Never mind. <laughs> they have not taken enough prizes. My opponent's having a struggle over here. Select some flowers. Blah, give me that. I really wish I could shuffle the deck. Chorus. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, you know what? Let's go here. We're gonna wisdom this so we can flower selecting it away. Tremendous. Nope. Grab this. This is a very unfortunate attack with. Let them knock us out. That's fine. How many boss? They're down one boss. If I bench the Zard, I probably just lose. I think I'm going to bench the Sableye, though. That might bait out a boss play. We're still in an okay spot. Sheesh. Opponent is down a lot of paths. So once now we're going to lost vacuum this next turn because then path never comes back into play because they're down all of their path to the peaks. Unfortunately, I think we might actually lose because of that early core or sorry, Clara discard. I think I underrated how many resources are needed for this one. We'll see. Uh huh. Are there any of these I don't need so I can wisdom and get rid of it? I don't think so. I think I'd rather have this at this point. Just the cross switch is so unnecessary because of all the escape ropes. Take this. We're unfortunately whiffing our energies, which is a big you hate to see it situation. We have the guaranteed KO in hand next turn. Wisdom this. So if we get Marnie, do we draw into it? Double check that they're out of paths. One, two, that's theirs. That's three. That's four. So we are going to go ahead and lost vacuum. The path. And. Pass. OK. So we have one vacuum left, I believe. If not, I'm Ooh, we're out of vacuums. Uh-oh. Oh, that might have been... No, we had to get rid of the path. That was correct. But getting rid of that vacuum earlier might have been incorrect. That's another boss down by my opponent. Another Blissey's okay. Cape is okay. That's less okay. All right. Okay, we should lose this game now. I think we're just too far behind, unfortunately. Yeah, because we no longer KO the active. Yeah, you hate to see it. Grab 
have this. Smack for 250, they knock me out. Yeah, being out of vacuums is unfortunately just uh, going to be an L there. This is a very hard matchup, and they did a good job of doing the thing. I got rid of one too many vacuums. If we had been able to get this KO, they would have whiffed the KO on me. We would have been able to pull off a switch cart play and would have been fine. But now we're also going to end up pretty much decking ourselves out because we have to get our Clara here. I don't think there's a way to deck them out. No, because we'd have to Marnie. Yeah. They get the knockout. Um, could they could be out of bosses. So we're going to hope to hit our Clara here. With how much? 170. Tremendous. We're going to loss zone this. Okay. All right. Well, that's game. You hate to see it, but uh, this is a bad matchup, some bad resource management, but let's go ahead and try out another game with the deck and hopefully make it a little bit better. All right, so let's hope we can get a uh, better matchup than the Blissey one this time. Like I mentioned in the last game, we're fine going first or second. We'd like to go first, but second's not the worst thing in the world. We're the one with a mulligan in this game. How unfortunate. So we're gonna give our opponent extra cards, less likely to donk, of course. Maybe more likely they find their Empoleon? I don't know. They're having a big old think over there. Whether they want to bench something else, they don't, which is correct. There's literally no reason to bench a second Pokemon going first or second. I promise I'm not, like, stacking the deck. <laughs> These are just two PTCGO games that I've shoved in a row. <laughs> where we've, uh... Started the double battle VIP pass. We also have the chorus in hand. So we're going to VIP pass first here. Get those Pokemon out of the deck. And then we're going to drop the chorus down. So we are going to grab Cramorant. And we're going to grab some Comb Fees. And I'd like to grab my Monkey again. This deck probably doesn't play Avery. I don't know what plays Raikou. But whatever plays Raikou probably doesn't have an Avery in it. Oh, uh, this might be a Manaphy game. So we'll probably grab one of those off this VIP pass. Vika Volt. Oh no. All right, this should be an auto loss, but we'll see. Maybe we can maybe we can uh, figure this one out. It's a lot of Vika Volts coming down. We're going to hope to get Air Balloon on our Comfy, maybe even a second Air Balloon on our Comfy. The Vitality Band's cute. Sure. All right, VIP pass. So they got rid of their water, but I don't think they're going to be able to utilize Greninja in this one. We're going to go one and two. VIP again. I'm going to go ahead and put the Sableye down. Like I said, I don't think they play Marnie. Oh, that that hurts. I'm going to say the switchers probably aren't necessary. And I would rather escape rope this turn than not. Uh, flower sucking. Definitely need that. One, two, three. I'm trying to think of any of these. Unfortunately, without the Zigzagoon, they can ship the Zapdos freely which hurts us a lot. We're hoping they give us this. Being able to two-shot this would be massive. If they give us a Zapdos and they have Net in hand without a Zigzagoon to punish the KO, we're, we're in a terrible spot. But we're giving our opponent the chance to misplay, or they don't have Net. Okay, tremendous. Which would also be huge for us. I can go ahead and switch cart and get one more flower selecting in. We're not going to play the path down. And the reason for that is uh, under item lock, we can't remove the path. And that would be bad. Go here. Here. One more flower selecting. Give me that. 
go here, 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 here. Get this energy down early. Actually, let's double check this first. Tremendous, we don't need that. So get that down early. One, two, three, four, five. That's six, seven. Unfortunately, no extra crams this turn kind of sucks. That would have been the optimal, I guess, had we hit like one more crammer ant. We'll see what we can hit. So we're going to get item locked and knocked out this turn. That does nothing. Well, it does nothing for us. Sorry, it does plenty for them. They're in a great spot. My opponents, they're they're living their life right now. All right, so we're going to drop the chorus and we're going to hope to hit an energy and a cram, ideally. But we'll see. Oh, just kidding. We're out of crams. OK. <laughs> so this turn, we're going to give up another prize. That's OK. Um, We definitely don't want a Clara this turn. Let's go ahead and drop the chorus. One. Two, three. If we ever get items back, I think these are the best cards. Selecting. And bench this. Do we get Marn? Do you want access to it? One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll be able to Sableye next turn, which is cool. Um, go ahead and wisdom this back on top. Tremendous. We do not want that. <laughs> Next turn, we're going to wisdom that back on top as well so we can loss zone it. But if we get Marnied, we're guaranteed the Chorus. If we get Marnied, they also don't boss our Sableye. If they do boss our Sableye, we are hurting, which is the correct play for my opponent because we cannot retreat under item lock currently. And we don't. Yeah, what a good play. Good job, opponent. All right, so we're going to promote this. Now a Clara would be nice. Because a Clara would be nice, we're going to go here. We're not going to Chorus first. We're instead going to Flower Selecting first. Okay. Drop this down. Okay. Tremendous. Let's make a pivot. And pass. Unfortunately, we are whiffing our attackers. We have Sableye ready to go. Sableye is locked and loaded. And the good thing about that is then after that, the Charizard is going to be locked and loaded. OK, that's OK. Unfortunately, we weren't able to put the Colrus on top, but that means we keep our pivot and we get closer to the Clara and the Sableye. We have the shuffle ability to move the all right, move the energies around in the deck as well. So we're going to see a lot of cards here. Go here, fail, drop that. We're going to go ahead and Marnie. Tremendous. We got the energy. Oh, we got the Clara for next turn. We got a fire as well. Uh, we're going to grip all of these. We're going to flower selecting. Take this. OK, unfortunately, we are going to lose our pivot here. So they're going to item lock KO. We have no pivots. They're going to go down to one prize. We should lose this game. Not getting the Charizard hurts. Go here. Charizard. Dang. Yeah, not getting the turn one. What's it called? Uh, air balloon is a huge deal. Nine, ten. The last two damage counters should go one and two. Unfortunately, I think we're a turn too slow here. Ooh, cram is nice. So we can go cram smack this turn. And hope that they are just unable to set up more things. Uh, gosh, it's so unlikely. 
Yeah, we should just lose this game for sure. I said, I think we're a turn behind. If my opponent had four prize cards left at this point, I think we would be fine. What I think we're gonna do... Gosh, their Vitality Band is just like so perfect at the stupid Sableye math. Uh, if you haven't, check out the Vika Volt uh, video I made the other day. Yeah, so they're just going to need Melanie Attach. I assume they're playing around Path to the Peak right now. Tremendous. So the odds of winning this game are getting lower and lower, because I have to two-shot this thing, because I cannot pivot out of the active. Okay. Let's go here wisdom this attach marnie we get the clara back flower selecting um Technically, Sableye is acceptable here. I still think putting the path down is incorrect, so we're not going to. Yeah, we're gonna have to get the we're gonna have to Clara Sableye and like hope they can't get there. Okay. So that's an issue, because the Raikou means they don't need a Vitality Band to KO our Sableye. Which is our current win condition would have been that they have to smack us for like 70 in item lock. Eh, we still would have lost. Okay. Well, that's just game, unfortunately. There's there's nothing we can do about this. This thing KOs everything in the game. So we're going to go and scoop it up, unfortunately, but... Two very tough matchups. You can see you can see that the deck is certainly beatable. Hopefully we're able to get some stuff out of the games, though. Like I said, I think these are pretty OK games to look at and decide like, oh, wow, you know, the deck has a lot of decision making, a lot of options, and there's a lot of hate out there right now for the deck, which means that we have to adapt a little bit. So if you're going to play this deck at Salt Lake City or maybe an online tournament, you might want to make a few changes to the list. I don't actually know what they would be yet. I don't know if I would tech for Vika Volt, though I kind of like Vika Volt a lot right now in this format. But hopefully you liked the video. Hopefully the gameplay helped you out a little bit. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all the other YouTube stuff, and I will catch you all in the next video. Peace out.